What is going on everybody and welcome back to the latest episode of our FIFA 16 Crystal Palace career mode today and uh, once again as if we can smash 20 likes on this that would be absolutely amazing. We smashed 20 on the last couple so if we could keep on doing that that would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new around here as well to become a part of the Nation Nation. Also comments and feedback always appreciated down below but we've actually got a really really exciting episode today because we've got our debut in Europe. Of course we qualified for Europe in last season in our first season in charge of Crystal Palace we won the FA Cup and then got fifth in the league I think it was in the end I actually thought now I don't know if this is me just being wrong last time out because maybe I just got it wrong or if the game's glitched here but we won the FA Cup I thought that meant that we got into the Champions League but we're actually in the Europa League so let me know in the comments is that me did I get that wrong or is that the game not playing up basically but uh yeah we're in the Europa League not as happy as I was about qualification last season now, but still, I think it's going to be really exciting because I hope and I think that we can go a long way in the Europa League, whereas in the Champions League it may have been a bit more of a struggle. But you can see our group in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got Fenerbahce, Copenhagen and Malmo, and we're going to be making our debut today against Copenhagen. And we're also introduced to the um, the stresses of European life as a football team you like. So as you can see, we've got Copenhagen on the 15th and then Norwich in the Premier League on the 17th. So we're going to be really... Uh, Really testing the strength of our squads in this episode, but um, for some reason, it's not my career mode is loading super slow. I don't know why that is, but um, there's a little bit of news as well in the fact that Draw Ward wants some more wages. Um, there's a skate report there from Fur that we were looking at over um, over the window before in the transfer window, but I think we're going to give Draw Ward his wages and um, then we'll jump into the first game. So uh, yeah, let's give him the wage, sort the team out for the game, and then we'll jump into it, lads. So lads, we've actually come across a little bit of an issue. You can see Joel Ward is currently on 35 grand a week, which I didn't realise, which I think is more than enough for Joel Ward as it is anyway, and he wants 50 grand. I'd be a bit, you know, not sure if I want to give him 50 grand a week anyway, but even if I wanted to, we can't actually afford it because uh, we used all our money up in the transfer window. So um, hopefully this little saga will just play itself out over a period of time. If we can keep, well, we're going to keep hold of him until January anyway, of course, because we're past the transfer window, but... Um, Worst case scenario, Joel Ward will leave and we'll get in another right back. We'll have to do just wait and see what happens with that one. So uh, that's a bit of a bummer, but um, let's proceed to the game now, sort out the team and then uh, get into it. So lads, because we're playing in a couple of days time in the Premier League, I've made a couple of changes so, just so we've got some real fresh legs in the first 11 when we play that game. So Inaki Williams has been rested for this game and we brought in Sacco. Uh, Benica Fobe has been rested in Iheanacho gets his uh, debut, his first full start. And we've also brought in Kabali for Bentaleb, but um, that's still... A very, very strong team. Kelly's also coming at right back for um, for Joel Ward, but that's partly because he's also injured. He's still, he could have played, but he was low on their energy anyway because of his injury. But um, that is the team that we're going to go with. I hope it all runs okay because it's been really, really slow for some reason. But yeah, let's jump into the game and hopefully get our debut win in, uh, in our first game in Europe. Just about. Eric Dyer now. Oh, God, that's a poor pass, Dyer. Come on. I thought he was going to pop a long shot then. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Copenhagen are keeping the ball so oh god, oh god. That was a that's a massive chance for them, that is. They're keeping the ball so well. They're trying to lay it off on the edge. That's not bad. Crack that now. Oh, I'll tell you what, I felt like he'd caught that well, but it goes flying over in the end. No, not even close. Ian Asher did really well to lay him off there. It's probably our best chance of the game. Well played, Sacco. Come on, come on. This is a chance now. This is a chance. One more Vieto. Ian Acho even, he's found Vieto, come on, oh my god, he's reeling me in, he's reeling me in, it's got to be, oh, what a chance, Luciano Vieto, you've got to be taking those, my god, I thought he'd nailed me at first, and pff, wasn't, <sighs> should have been 1-0. So, half time, lads, into our European debut, halfway through, and it's 0-0, Copenhagen have had a lot more shots than us, I'm going to say that straight off the bat, but um, they've not been super threatening, they're playing some good possession football, but they've not really got that kill up on or third, it doesn't seem. We, on the other hand, haven't had as many shots, but the chances that we've had, particularly that one with Vieto, was an absolute golden chance. I mean, we just couldn't take it. So hopefully, we can keep on going into the second half and get the goal. Come on. That'll do. That'll do. Inacho, drop that back inside. This is nice. Vieto's made a great run there. What a run. What a pass. Oh, my God. It's a lame finish from Vieto again. And how has he kept that in? Big header. Inacho. Vieto. Giving Ernie and Acho. It's a good ball. Please get there. Oh my god, how are we not winning this game, man? How is he still nil-nil? We're kind of getting into the last throw of the dice territory now, lads. There's not long to go. We've made all our changes. Speaking of changes, here's one of them. 
Inaki Williams, can we spin in solid? We can. Inaki. Oh my god, Inaki. Inaki. Please! Oh my god, we, sh we should have won this game. God damn it, lads. It's full time. It's finished nil nil. Half time in this game. Copenhagen had had lots more shots and had probably edged the game in fairness, but second half. We absolutely smashed them. I don't know why we've not won that game. We had so many chances. Our finishing boots just weren't with us in that game. I mean, I think Inaki Williams had one. Vieto had a couple. There was just so many like, chances that, like, eight out of ten times he'd expect us to score. We had nine shots. They had seven. They only had one shot on target. Like I say, we really deserve to win that. The positive is we played well, and hopefully when you play a lot of that nine times out of ten, you do get the win. But um, it's still keeping up a little bit of a run as well because we won both our last games, drawn that one, so we're on a little bit of an undefeated streak. Hopefully, we can carry that on into the Norwich game, lads. So, obviously, lads, with us playing literally two days ago before we get into this Norwich game in Europe, we've had to rest a few players, and this is the uh, starting eleven that we're going with this time. We've still got a pretty strong team. I mean, it just shows the depth that we've managed to achieve over these... Uh, couple of seasons now, but being as though we've just played in Europe and two days later we've got a fully fit team with the locks of a Afobi, Callum Wilson, Jonathan Williams is in there, uh, Inaki Williams, so the two Williamses are both in there, we've got Bentaleb, Zaha, I think that team should be able to beat Norwich, so hopefully we can do that, if we play anything like we did in the last game, as long as we take the chances, we'll be okay lads, come on, we've come out the box well here lads, I can feel it, this feels good, Wilfred Zaha's on one, Wilfred Zaha's still on one, Oh my god, that is really unlucky. I didn't actually tell him to shoot myself then. That was just re pure reactions. Dead unlucky. Play it in there. Oh my god, with so many chances already. Get in there, finally. 1-0 up. I swear to god, five minutes in, we could have scored three goals already. That is how good we've been at the start of this game. We've carried on our form and the way that we played against Copenhagen. But this time, we've actually put a finish to it and we take a 1-0 lead. After just five minutes, and like I say, we have we just I could feel it. We came out of the box so well, and it is hammered in. John Ruddy can have a bit of a look at himself because it wasn't the best uh, best of him in between the sticks. But one nil up. Callum Wilson, another goal for him. I think that's two and two in the Premier League. Suarez, not the best touch. God, are we going to pay for that bad touch? That was pretty awful from Suarez. Oh my God, the pace, the pace of bloody a thousand lions. That doesn't even make sense. And he scored. God damn it. Which means I'm now going to have to leave in my comment about the pace of a thousand lions, which is sort of embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as Suarez's touch that led to that goal. The pace from Redmond then was freaking ridiculous, and McCarthy is on needs to have a look at himself being beaten from there, but 1-1, and we started so well as well. Good football. Come on, Wilson. Build on that goal. Oh, that is fantastic by Wilson. A phobie. Should have gone down the bottom. We've gone down the bottom now. Please, mate, this it. Oh, for God's sake. Half time then, lads, against Norwich. We are at home. And again, like, we, we're playing so well. We came out of the blocks incredibly quickly. Got an early goal. Norwich scored to equalise not long after. And they haven't really done much since. We've had so many chances. I'm going to make a change at half time. I'm going to bring off uh, Jonathan Williams because he's been pretty ineffective. And we're going to bring on Riyad Mahrez because he's a prime creator for us, of course. We're also going to take off Zaha. And we're going to bring on Sako because Zaha is a little bit tired. He played the majority of the last game. So hopefully Sako's fresh legs can make a difference down that wing as well. Norwich all of a sudden knocking the ball around like the Barcelona. Oh my god. No. No. What a goal. How can Norwich do that? And how am I supposed to stop it? That is an incredible goal. We're 2-1 down to Norwich. What is going on? My god, we should be away with the fairies in this game. And then they produce the, mo like the move of the season. And the 2-1 up. We've got some work to do. Break now. Come on, we can break. Wilson, you got pace. Come on, use it. Use the pace. Oh my god, look at the space here. Nabil Bentaleb, please. Well played. Great, great pass. Please, get in. 2-2. Two, two. We need to win this game. We played so well. He's taken us... We've still got half an hour. We can still do this. It's a great sub from, from us, really, because Morris has come on. Williams wasn't doing great, and it's paid dividends because he scored there. It's a great little ball around the corner from Benny Kofobi there. In off the post. I didn't think that was going to come, to be honest, because we've just had so many chances again. 2-2. Two, two. Let's bloody win it now. Oh my god, they'll give it to us straight away. Callum Wilson, use the pace. Use the pace. Ah, oh, heavy touch. We got it back, we got it back. Oh my god, look at that back stick. Look at the back stick of Foby. Yes! Straight away! He's on side, isn't he? Yes, he is. 3-2 two up, two goals in like two minutes. Callum Wilson, what a signing he's proving to be. 
Kind of lucky, I suppose you could say, because he got the ball back straight away there. But great ball in there to Benny Kafobi. Nods it in at the back stick. Stop that, John Ruddy. Come on, get in there. What a turnaround. It's been a while, Eric. Kaboy's been on the, the majority of the... What? No. What? What did that just happen? Right, Eric Dyer stepping up. Oh, just wide. My God. One, two. One, two. Get, oh, you dirty git. I was getting ready for the one, two. I was just waiting for a phobia to move into the space, and he's nailed me. Come on. Come on. That's easy. That's easy. Well played. Well played. Oh, God. He needed to get that on the edge. <gasps> no. Fuck's sake, how do these things happen? 3-3, three, three. this is ridiculous. We initially clear the corner, it's an easy clearance. He just doesn't get enough behind it. Then that, I cannot believe this game sometimes. God damn it. Come on. Nastasic forward here. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Today's episode, man, we played two games, played really well in both of them, and drawn them both when we blatantly should have won. Absolute piss tack. I can't be angry at the way we played. Norwich played okay. I mean, Nathan Redmond down that wing was an absolute menace, but we are, oh, we just should have won that game. Let's have a look at the table. Let's have a look where that leaves us. So you can see, lads, after six games in the Premier League, we only played one league game today, of course. We're still in uh, seventh place, which isn't too bad. A lot of positives to take from today's episode. The fact that we're playing so well, we just need to tighten up a bit at the back. Make sure those games, like today, where we should be winning in both games, we've drawn them. That's the difference between getting top four, which is what we want, and not getting top four. So we need to polish up on that uh, throughout this season. But we've still not lost today. It's four games on the bench without losing. So hopefully we can continue that, can continue that run. And um, if we can get a good run going, that would be fantastic. But um, if you did enjoy, enjoy today's episode, lads... Make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, like I said at the start, if we can get it over 20 likes, that would be amazing, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it, have a good night, I will speak to you all in uh, Monday's video, because this will be going out on Saturday, have a good weekend lads, Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.